In this video, I'll be comparing Hostinger Horizons versus Lovable. So I'll be explaining what exactly these two AI app builders do. I'll give both of them the exact same prompt, show you what both of them build, and ultimately which one I think is best. So the prompt I'm going to give them is build a marketplace app for buying and selling cars. So I'm just going to give them both a very simple, straightforward prompt and see what they both come up with. So first with Hosting Horizons, you can see right now it is explaining what it will do. So build a stunning modern interface, creating car listing cards, etc. Then on Lovable, it works very similarly. So it will go and tell you the design approach in terms of the colors, style, features, components. Now it can take some time for these two builds. So I'll just wait for that. And in the meantime, explain a little bit about both of them and explain their pricing as well. So first in terms of what exactly they are, Hosting Your Horizons is a no-code AI web app and website builder launched by the hosting company Hostinger. With Horizons, you describe your idea in natural language, as I just did, and the tool builds a website or web app, hosts it and gives you a domain, and lets you edit with minimal code or none at all. Now, Lovable is very similar. It is a newer company, and it is also a platform where you just give it a prompt in plain English to build something, and then it will build the web app or website. So Lovable is designed to build full-stack websites or apps with front-end and back-end. And it's not just aimed at non-coders, but also people who want to actually have access to the code and who want to be able to export the code. Now Hosting Horizons has built-in hosting, domain and email, basically everything under the Hostinger ecosystem with no external deployment needed. You can also see it code in real-time right here. And Hosting Horizons recently also added e-commerce capabilities. Now with Lovable, you have a live code editor access, so you are not stuck in a sealed builder. You can edit the generated code if you want, and it's focused on more complex applications, not just static websites, so dashboards, internal tools, and web apps. Now right here, you can see Lovable is already done, and so is Hosting Your Horizons. So now I'll actually go ahead and compare these and show you what they both built. So first, the one on Lovable, you can see they actually look pretty similar. Although the preference for rich design is better, of course, depends on what you like. Personally, I do think the one on Hosting Horizons looks a bit better here, but overall, it's also all about the functionality. So Lovable built in a few features. So they have the condition of the car, new and used, the fuel type, and the price range. Currently, they have made six examples right here, and you can kind of see what it looks like. So you see the mileage, the location, whether it's automatic, and the type of gas, as well as the name, first picture, and the price. Now, they also added a search bar. So if I search by BMW, for example, the only BMW that there is right here actually shows up. So that is a good sign. It built in a search bar that works. Now, if I search by year, for example, 2023, you will only find cars built in 2023. Then here, if you click on sell your car, currently it doesn't do anything yet, and it hasn't built that out. Now if I go to Hosting Horizons, it's pretty similar, so it has the amount of listings, happy customers, car brands. Then you can here also search by make or model, for example 2023, you can see the 2023 cars. You can also set it by category here, so sedan, SUV, trucks, sports or luxury, and then it also filters by that. Then you have the conditions and they have the price range in a nice slider right here. So all of that looks pretty good. Now if you go to sell your car right here, you can actually list it. So for example, I'll just create a listing, Toyota, Camry. It also added sample answers, which is pretty cool. Then you can click list your car and now you can see it is right here. If you click on a car, you will then see this. So they have contact seller, call now. If you click contact seller, currently they have not built this feature yet. Now, if you go into Lovable and click on a car, I do think that this page right here looks better than this one, since it's actually like a separate page. But here you can now contact seller, schedule test drive. If you click contact seller, again, nothing happens. But you can also see the features of the car right here. You can see more details, such as the color and the description. With the other car right here, you don't yet see that, except for the description. But now what's really important is not just the first build, it's also how well it iterates. So both of them give you follow-up steps that they want to build. So right here, if you scroll down, you can see done, I've created AutoMarket, a premium car marketplace with all of this. Then what is next? Refine and customize, or adjust colors and more vehicles, or tweak the layout via prompts or visual edits, or use chat mode to plan features like accounts, favorites, or messaging. Now I want to create accounts, favorites, and messaging. So I'll say create 
account favorites and messaging then I will be asking the hosting or horizons chat right here to do the same but you can see it has also done other things so with hosting or horizons you can integrate with superbase and you need to do that manually with lovable it's a bit easier now here you can also enable a cloud version so you need to click allow and then it will enable cloud now here you can go to integrations and then integrate with superbase as well as stripe for example for the back end and then it will actually build out accounts and sign-ins and stuff like that so I'll just go and do this now. So integrations, Superbase, then you can click connect. It will then redirect you to Superbase. If you already have an account, you can just sign in. You want to click authorize hosting or horizons for all of these things that it can do. And from there, you will have then integrated Superbase. Then here you can create a project or select one. I'll just create a new one for this project. So from there, select the organization, give the project a name and click create new project. And now I'll select that project to connect to Hosting or Horizon so that we actually have a backend set up. So right now it is building what I asked it. Now from here in Lovable, it will ask you to modify the database. I'll say allow. So now in the meantime, both Hosting or Horizons and Lovable have built out the ability to create accounts. Now, if I go onto AutoHub, I've just clicked sign up and created an account. Now, if I go to sign in, you can see nothing happens, so it's not working. Now, on Lovable, right here in the preview, I did the same thing, and here it is working. Now, if I sign out again, I can sign back in, and I actually have an account. But there's not yet a button for me to sell a car. So, let's say that I want to build this out, then I can just ask Lovable, build a sell a car section where I can upload my car details and have people reach out to me so for example build a sell a car section where i can upload my car details and have people reach out to me now autohub did build this however for it the sign in doesn't work so you can see it has an error right here so it has super base errors now if i click as to fix then it should fix them so now hosting over rather says all done those errors have been squashed so now if i'm going to try this again to create my account I can now go to sign up and again just sign up with the details I want and from there it doesn't sign me in yet which is not a good sign but if I now go to sign in and use the same details you can see still it's not doing anything so I'll say it doesn't let me sign up or sign in and really I think hosting horizons is a great tool for building beautiful pages and websites but when it comes to actual functionality and even basic stuff like signing in and signing up, it takes so much time to just get that feature right. Whereas with Lovable, it just does that much faster. And I think for building full web apps, Lovable does do a far better job at actual functionality. So for example, now I asked it to build a sell your car feature. Again, it has signed me in right here. Now if I go to sell your car, you can now see I can list my car with the photos, the make, model, mileage, year, transmission, fuel type, color, condition, location, and description. And from there, you can add features right here. So for example, I'm just gonna create one. So I've just created a listing. Now you can even see my listing. So this is my listing. Then I can deactivate it and even delete it. So this is the my listing section. In browse cars, I will now also be able to find it. So it says used since it has some miles on it. If I added pretty much zero miles, then it would have said new. But currently there is no way for someone that wants to buy this car to actually reach out to me. So there is a contact seller button. But when I listed my car, there was no section where I could add my contact details. So with Lovable, you can just ask that. Or actually it says buyers can reach out via the messaging system. So right here you have your messages. So I'm just going to test this. Right here we have a car. Now if you click contact seller, it should then take you to the messages. Or for example, in the car I just listed, it should also do that. Now if you click favorite, let's see if it's added to your favorites. So if you favorite a car, it does actually go to your favorites. So that functionality it already built out. But overall, which of these is better for what? So here's how I would make the decision. First, I would pick Hosting Horizons if you want to launch a website that looks very good or a landing page or just a simple web app quickly. You don't want to think about hosting or server setup. You are non-technical and you value simplicity and speed. And the most important thing for your project is the design. You don't need the most functionality. On the other hand, I would go with Lovable if you are looking for functionality. So you're looking to build a tool for your business. You're looking for an app that you can actually sell to users or for example, to build a marketplace like I did right here. If that's what you are looking to do, then I would go with Lovable over Horizons. 
But for example, if you own a restaurant business and you're looking to create a beautiful website for your restaurant, then in that case, hosting your horizon still gets the job done and it does create some very good looking designs. So in that case, then I would probably go with hosting your horizons. Also, if you're looking to create an e-commerce website, I would pick hosting your horizons. But for most software applications, I would go with Lovable. Now I'll leave links to both of them down in the description where you can get started completely for free. If this comparison of hosting of Horizons versus Lovable helped you make a decision, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.